Indian dance in South Africa received some well-deserved exposure at the Nirithya Angan Festival presented by the South African Indian Dance Alliance. While many leading dance academies participated in the event, it also presented a platform for some of South Africa's leading solo performers and the spotlight is about to be turned on them. Presented at Durban's Playhouse Theatre over a period of three days, the festival featured leading South African dance academies and companies. However, this evening's programme was dedicated to established names, performing as soloists and as an ensemble. Kriya was looking forward to an overview of the classical dance experience. Indian dance is a short name for a broad field and whether you're an avid fan or just a lover of dance, there's always something new to learn and enjoy. Tonight's festival is a cross-section of the antique and the modern, the classic and the contemporary. Bershka, namaste. Welcome to tonight. We definitely have a treat for you. What does it take to put on a festival like this? I mean, this must have been months and months of work. There's been months of months of great vision and it literally happened overnight, but overnight with no sleep, it's been tough, but it's absolutely worth it. Have you been very inclusive when it comes to dance styles and themes? Absolutely. Tonight we have embraced all the styles. It's not about, you know, being Indian or then subdivided into Kathak or Bharat Natyam, Hindi or Tamil, it's really art. And the forum is a creation of art. Backstage, Kriya chatted to Kathak exponent Manesh Maraj. Manesh, what is your involvement with the South African Indian Dance Alliance? I was happy to affiliate myself as an artist as well as my institute, Kala Darshan, as part of SIDA. And I think this is a very good reflection of a healthy dance fraternity. And this is a great way of bringing everybody together, uh, showcasing artists and what they have to offer. Would you say that Kathak and Bharatanatyam have two different approaches with the same goal? Absolutely. Kathak is an Indian classical dance form from the northern part of India and Bharatanatyam is from the south. And although there is a, a great difference with regards to the language, I have to say that the message is the same. Uh, the principles of discipline, devotion and passion is the same. And I just feel that an audience uh, needs a natural empathy for life to connect and understand um, such classical dance forms. Can you give me a little bit of background to what you're performing? I have chosen a beautiful a composition by Tulasi Das, a great sage who actually translated the Ramayana. It speaks of Lord Ram's feet as symbolism of humility and uh, devotees have found mercy and deliverance at his feet. And the second item I will be performing is known as a Tarana, which has the technique in predominance. Do you have a message for all the lovers of classical Indian dance in South Africa? There's a great renaissance when it comes to the classical performing arts and as much as we share a passion for performing, it's very important for us to have the Rasikas come out and watch us to appreciate the art. Manesha's wish was fulfilled that evening with an audience that shared his passion for the art form. Two works were performed by Manesh with a dance performed to the Rama Kirtan opening the program. A Kirtan is a musical composition and in this case, the combined dance and song is dedicated to the Lord Drama. Next, Anusha Pillay performed the Ambastuti. Shambhavi Chandra Mauli Amala Aparna Uma Parvati Seema Lala performed the Padavali and the Shiva Kirtanam. Manesh returned to the stage for the Tarana. For Darshana Rama, dance is a shared experience. The classical art that I fell in love with. The message in it is eternal. We are all human beings, we all search for love, we all experience sadness, we all look for truth. And truth does not change with time. 
So the art form has a relevance because the poetry is so rich, it explores all those things. Love and truth. Come and find it. Come with the, your heart open to see it. The last item was the Mangalam, for which all the soloists combined their talents. This was not only a fitting finale, but was also symbolic of the spirit that motivates the SA Indian Dance Alliance. 